Hello my lovely Trailbites and Fossil fam. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. It just is. I brought back a lot of chocolate from Sweden and Iceland because everyone's like, bring me back chocolate. I'm like, awesome. And then I have like the stuff from Sephora and Kix. And I was excited. Ours don't have red handles. Like our Sephora bags don't. So I'm like, ooh. Um, and then there's money I forgot to convert back when I was in the international terminal at O'Hare because I was so jet lagged and stupid. I forgot to do it, but this looks cooler than it is like a hundred dollar, uh, Sweden. This is worth maybe $9 and 70 cents USD. So this isn't, it, it's not what you think it is. Like it's, it's, Yeah. Although the stamps cost a lot of money. I did mail postcards. I don't know who I mailed them to, but I mailed a bunch of postcards. Um, I also, we went to the ice bar and my husband was like, I want to make glasses out of ice. And so he wanted these and I'm like, okay, if they fit in your suitcase, like I don't care. Um, so he's like, we need to each have one. And I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, so that's just random. And then everyone, like my sister and all of my friends, because Americans are obsessed with Starbucks for some unprofound reason, um, they wanted me to bring back mugs. And I'm like, these are heavy. I don't even know if I got the Stockholm ones or the Sweden ones. I really don't know. Like, this is what happens when you're jet lagged and shopping. Like, I legitimately don't know what I was doing. Um, but I brought back... And luckily, none of these broke, so that's exciting. And now I have to, like, mail them on to their final destinations. Um, I did go to another store. Uh, it's called That, and I cannot pronounce that in, under any circumstances. So some of this came from that store, some came from Kix, and some from Sephora. And it's kind of all jumbled up because when you pack, you just throw everything in. Um, I don't know why I bought three of them. Okay, like they were like, oh, it's viral. It already sold out once. And then I'm like, can I even fly these home? Like, can I? I don't know. And then I bought three of them and I don't know why, but I'm going to test them out. <laughs> Not all of them. I'm going to test like the one out. But again, shopping while jet lagged is not an ideal situation. I found like the cutest nail polish ever, like ever, ever. This is so adorable and I love it. And it's great. Um, I didn't know Essence made like this. Like I didn't know they made these. I've never seen these here in the US. I don't know um, entirely what that is, but I definitely want to swatch it. It's like this loose chrome pigment. Um, and this was like, it was maybe three US dollars when you converted everything. So I'm, I really do want to swatch this towards the end once I get everything out. I'm going to swatch that. Um, and I did get uh, this Linda Hallberg quad. I swatched a bunch of her stuff because they have like big displays of it. If you saw my shorts, this is absolutely stunning. Like absolutely stunning. And it is super shifty. And I... I've never really seen her makeup in person before, so I wanted to try it. And then I got an eyeliner. So I'll swatch that towards the end. Um, in Sephora, I got this mini. I don't know why. Again, no idea. And then I saw green nail polishes. And um, probably because I knew that the Nomad was going to be Ireland from like the very first pick. And I was obviously guessing, but... Yeah, and I've never heard of this brand, but apparently these ingredients are, like, really, really good. Like, they took out all of the really, really, in theory, the bad stuff, and these are supposed to be extremely um, better for humans uh, in some... I am so dumb. It's just... And then I got a Cloudberry bar of soap because I've never had anything with Cloudberry, and I'm like, wow, I would like to try Cloudberry. That seems awesome. So now I'm going to swatch uh, the eyeliner. I have the one nail polish on my fingies right now. I'm in my pajamas. I'm doing laundry. So if you hear noise, that's what it is. And I'm going to swatch these and then it's actually sunny so we can go outside and see what it looks like. So I will be right back. All right, this says no fallout and self-setting. So I'm very, very 
confused by this, but we're going to see how this swatches. If I'm smart enough to open it, I'm just going to pause this while I open it because this is going to take too long. 20 minutes later, this looks kind of like a goo. It reminds me of like the, um, the jelly mutt shadows, I guess. So... Uh, I don't really think I needed that much, but here we are. But it has a screw-on lid, so um, it says self-setting. Oh, I don't know about this. Those those chunks are a little big for my liking. And as someone who's had a piece of glitter stuck in their eyeball, I really don't want to repeat that experience because eye doctor just numbs your eyeball and then like yanks it out, but. I really don't want to do that. Um, it says self-setting, so I guess we'll, we'll wait for that to dry down and then we'll go outside and I'll swatch the quad and the eyeliner while we're doing that. I didn't realize it was this. Oh well. We live, we learn. We eat a bunch of chocolate. So I guess I have to close this like really, really tightly because this could probably dry out like really, really fast. Awesome. I love this for me. Okay. Yeah. I fear this is going to dry out really, really quick. And then once it dries out, it's probably, you know, instantly dead. Okay. This eyeliner is in the shade Risa, I believe. I've never tried anything from LH. I mean, I swatch stuff in store, but I've never really... Oh, that's really creepy. These are supposed to stay on like a really, really long time. So that's very exciting. And then I got the quad in Siren Song. In case you were curious. And these are... Oh, these are... Sometimes the testers in stores are dried out. Is this more of like a topper shade? Is that even showing up? It'll show up outside. Like I can see it. It's like a pink, white, purple. And I pushed way too hard. Oh, that's a good green. Oh, okay, so these might just be like toppers then? Unless I put like a white base down. When I swatched these in store, I thought they had more pigment. I, I really don't know. And I don't know why I'm so congested either. That's a, that's fun. All the germs I picked up. Oh, speaking of germs, the Ulta Petri dish is, oh, wow. That was left unattended for a week while it marinated. And it's actually very frightening. I don't know if you can see these shifts. Okay, I'm going to take you outside in natural light so we can see what exactly is going on here. I'm surprised we don't have snow, but here's the essence. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the chunks are actually kind of big, so that makes me nervous. I don't know if I really want that near my eye. And then here is the LH quad. I think these are more like topper shades, but I think they're still really, really gorgeous. And I've always wanted to try this brand, so I'm excited about that. Those are very sparkly. <laughs> I really like them. I'll try them on my face in a video when I don't sound and look like this. But um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I'll do a get ready with me with a, trying like the new L'Oreal face spray and all of these things. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.